Hello everyone, we're back altitude scale modeling with the Smokey and the Snowman and the Bandit and No Smokey update. So as you guys know, I was using this Trans Am. I was highly disappointed in it. But a couple people made comments and reminded me that there's this Trans Am that's available for Marvell. It is a much nicer kit. So, uh, this one's going to be the one that's actually used. I haven't opened it yet. But, let's slice open a few of the parts here so you can see the better quality. There's the body. Built-in spoiler. Built-in hood vents. This one's also got built-in hood vents, but no spoiler. Same dimensions. This one has got a couple mold seams there. But it's a thicker and heavier plastic. The front spoiler parts are built into it. The rear wheel spoiler parts are built into it. Now, the front grille. The headlights are not part of the front grille. As this nastiness is. Still no gold, but that will be easy to put in. There's the chrome dashboard bezel. Not nearly much flash. So, the windshield isn't messed up. The headlights are right there on top. The taillights are not red, but that will be easy enough to take care of. The tires, the actual kit tires, there's no logos on them, but they're better than the original kit tires. But I can still use those other ones. Now, there's a big step up. The decals. If you're familiar with this car, the decals are not, actually it even shows it on there, the decals are not solid stripes. They're two stripes, a thick one and a thin one run together. This has those stripes. The thick one and the thin one run together. Oh, you can see it. And the bird. <clears throat> Compared to these decals. Oh, yeah. And you've got Georgia plates. B A N D D D dash O N E. Just like in the movie. This one's got the instrument clusters on it. This one's got the Trans Am logos on it. The 6.6 .6 liter on it. This one has actually has the side marker lights if you want to use those. It's got your hub cap, center hub cap parts on it. So decals, big difference. And, you know, CB radios in this one. cubic engine looks much better much more detailed it's got the bandit hat it's got a master brake cylinder Here goes right there, just like where it was in the movie car. I mean, all this does make sense considering this was modeled for the movie, but it's just such a much nicer kit, much nicer, much more detailed. So, anyway, I'm going to give you an update on that. I'll be starting that in a couple of days. This right here, this I'll be doing something with this other one, don't know yet. And let me show you a couple things I'm working on. Hold on, let me change cameras. 
So, building a diorama. I haven't done that very often. My beautiful charger got ruined in a mishap and broken. So, I'm putting it on a junkyard diorama. Not a junkyard diorama. Like someone took it into a field next to a creek. Put it up on some cinder blocks, which I'll need to straighten out. There's going to be some rust put on it, some moss put on it. There'll be a lot more plants on this. This is where the stream bed's going to be. I got the rocks put into it. So working on that. This is the JU88. Working on for Nigel's modeling bench build along. I just started decaling it, as you can see from the bottom. Very nice decals. Going together really well. And those are the current builds that are going on. And there's the update for the bandit. And thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you again real soon. And stand by for... Uh, because I have not forgotten about this beautiful thing. This is going into the paint booth and getting filmed tomorrow. So be ready for that, all you Airfix B-17 lovers. Thanks for watching. Sit your ass at the bench like I am and start building things. This rock here, I was going to put in there but way too big. I'm going to smash it into little rocks. Little rocks, tiny rocks. You know, when you live in the Rocky Mountains, rocks are not a problem. Thanks.